this is the energy vibration for the um, for the um, Gemini Sun Moon Horizon um, happy Valentine's it is Valentine's week it is week of love and this week it has the energy of the moon and the zodiac energy of the hair so it's going to be a wonderful week for you um, um, Gemini's the week is going to begin from the 12th until the 18th so whatever the situation is I am going to be wishing you guys a wonderful wonderful week um, let's see what is happening on Monday on Monday you have the energy of the five of swords whatever the, the situation is um, this is a situation where you women are going to be standing up um, against in equality and injustice okay you're going to use your words um, um, in a positive way and this is going to be good as we look at Tuesday let's see what is happening we have the energy of the Sun I did say that it's a lucky week for you guys so this is a positive positive energy whatever the situation is and whatever it is transpiring on Tuesday it's going to be very wonderful on Wednesday you have the energy of uh, the three of ones you're leaving something behind you're moving forward and you're trying to make things work in your life and then on a Thursday the middle of the week you have the energy of the princess of cups now this energy of the princess of cups is some of you will be connecting with this person um, it could be that some of you will be asking this person the ends in marriage on that it is Valentine's Day it's just passed and that sort of a thing or some of you will be connecting with someone um, who is 25 years and older and it is uh, um, uh, a, a, a love that is in your life that sort of a thing let's move forward and see what is the energy we have the energy of huh? um, temperance energy of temperance this whatever the situation that is happening in your life the energy of temperance comes up and it's asking you to have a temperance with a situation or a situation um, that is happening in your life whenever they because this is a major or kind of coming up on Friday so um, it could be a situation that um, it was Valentine's Day and your partner who is a water sign person wanted you to commit more and you haven't done that listen to your intuition if you don't want to do that don't do it on a Saturday you have the energy of the seven of Pentacles this energy of the seven of Pentacles is a wonderful positive energy um, whatever the situation is it is good the energy of the seven of Pentacles is that you're trying um, to make something happen for yourself and this is a good situation wheel of fortune comes on Sunday which is a wonderful thing I did say to you guys that you guys this was a lucky week for you Gemini so here you can see that luck is coming out the energy of the ten of Pentacles is here that's a wonderful positive energy the energy of the ten of Pentacles um, with the energy of the ten of Pentacles this is saying to you that your financial situation is going to be good there is going to be help there's going to be people who are going to be helping and supporting you so you have absolutely nothing to worry about okay so let's go ahead and see what is transpiring in this week for you guys because obviously there is a lot going on in this week it's going to be wonderful because the two major arcana is actually um you have three of the, um the um especially the sun and the wheel of fortune in your weak energy and this is um a very very positive because um with the energy of the sun in your weak energy this is just going to be a just a magnificent this is going to be positive so let's see what is happening in um the beginning of the week on monday a lot of you will be standing up to something whatever it is you're standing up and said look to here and no further and um this is good because you're bringing balance in your life and as you stand up to that you will bring also success in your life because you're saying to here and no further and I, you know whatever is transpiring or whatever the conflict was because obviously there was a conflict with a lot of people and that sort of a thing 
um, the energy of the tower is bringing an end to whatever the situation and the energy of the Sun is coming out so um, whatever that was happening there is going to come an end to this situation and a new beginning a new start is going to be happening so if you find yourself in conflicting situation and conflicting um, you know it could be in a conflict while well, could be out of conflicts but this is more showing that it is things that is going on around you and you know you hold yourself back and you stand back from the situation let's move forward and see what is happening um, there is the energy of the five of of the nine of wands the nine of wands is that you're protected so no matter what is happening because obviously in the middle of the week it is um, Valentine's and the energy of the Sun is here and you have the three of wands so for some of you you're turning your back on something and walking away and ignoring something and you know working hard and looking forward to make things happen in your life and this is going to be good because what is transpiring is that whatever um, the energy of the Sun brings you new energy new vitality and what it's saying to you especially this is a situation would work and um, for a lot of you you're going to be focusing more on work in this week it's as if a lot of people are not really um, you know vibrating with the um, energy of um, Valentine's uh, the last half of the week you have the energy of the eight of Pentacles and a lot of people seems to be working very hard in this week whatever the situation is whatever that is happening and what this is saying is that um, some of you are going to be connected with the princess of cups and you you know you have the sense that you're trying to bring balance in your life you you, you know you're working towards um, your destiny your lot and this is um, extremely good because what this is doing it is opening a lot of doors uh, a lot of doors for a lot of people in whatever way it is um, positive because um, it's as if a lot of you're working so hard on things and uh, these things are happening for you and it's going to be very good so um, you know whatever is transpiring in your life um, it's it's really 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 going to be positive and you have no need to worry about what is happening so um, you know this is going to be good no matter what is happening around you it's it's, it's going to be good because in the middle the the first you know part of the week uh, um, it was as if whatever situation that was happening and whatever that was you know transpiring around you that sort of thing it's just going to be there is the energy of the two of ones the two of ones is a new um, start a lot of you are going to be um, given or um, office office is going to be coming in um, these offers are going to help you and make you're going to make a lot of money with these offers a lot of money okay um, as, as if the energy of the universe is working with you there is a lot of stuff that is going on the number the energy uh, this this energy is work a lot of you are more focused on work in this week than anything else for whatever reason it is it's as if you're trying um, to you know put your focus everything that you have on work and everything that is happening um, with work and new opportunities new offer is going to come in and it's going to be good take it you have the energy of the six of Pentacles it's going to be extremely good take it this is going to be a very good offer whatever um, offer that you get for work in this week take it it's going to be an a very very good offer okay it's gonna be an extremely good offer Um, you need to understand that you're very much spiritually protected even um, that you know because the universe is as if the universe is watching over you without you even knowing that the other energy that you have is the nine of um, nine of swords energy of the nine of swords is in the reverse form which is extremely good extremely good for you Gemini's because you're not in your head you're not thinking you know you are 
um, kind of letting things go and you know trying to figure out things as you go along and the last energy you have is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles so what I'm realizing here and what I'm understanding is for some people who are coupled up with someone who is the who is the princess of um, water it's as if you are not completely um, it's as if you are having second thoughts about this princess of cups you you're really having second thoughts about this princess of cups it's as if you're feeling as if something isn't um, there's a feeling that something is off balance with this princess and cup but listen to your intuition and this queen of pentacles that it's as if some of you are in a relationship with a queen of the princess of cups which is a pisces cancer or a scorpion but your love lies by the queen of pentacles who is a taurus virgo or capricorn and this is what is coming up so if you realize your valentine's day for just for the people who or having relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it's as if your love or you know what you feel for this person is not really the love of your life you think that someone else is the love of your life you think that this woman this woman could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is who you think is the love of your life and you're not really celebrating and you don't want to get married to this person because I am getting the feeling that this person expected on Valentine's Day that you were going to give her the ring but it's not going to happen because you're having second thoughts about this person and this is why some of you are so focused on work because you're really having second thoughts about the relationship that you're in because you're feeling as if this person is not the right person listen to your intuition this um, energy of the Capricorn um, woman is the right person for you because obviously you know that this is the love of your life this Capricorn woman and she brings you a lot of love you're not feeling the luck um, with this water sign person whether this water sign princess is you're not feeling the luck for her um, and and you know it, it's, it's a lot of time that people are in relationships it's as if they have past relationship with someone for some reason it didn't work out but they know that that person was the love of their life and somehow that person got away from them and this is what you are feeling at this moment listen to your intuition if you do not want to get um, um, attached to this um, woman who is this water sign she can be a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion don't get attached to her because obviously you're feeling that something isn't right listen to your inner wisdom and guide I would say to the person out there who is you know so in um, let the, the the earth sign person or let that Capricorn Virgo or um, um, Taurus person knows that you know you are the one who I am really um, you know who I think is the love of your life let her know because obviously there is a situation that is going on here and um, you need to let go of this person but this person is holding on on to you and you are feeling as if there is something that is not you know you're feeling as if there is something that is off with this person listen to your intuition work for a lot of you are going to be good a lot of good offers are coming in in this week for you guys um, you're spiritually protected from this woman whoever she is I think what you should do because there's a lot of worries I see that there was a lot of thoughts in your head about this Capricorn person and it's as if you miss whoever this woman is because it's a Capricorn she's over the age of 40 it's as if you miss her and you know you try to let her know how you feel but it's as if you can't get the words out and this is you know what is happening but not to worry because you know sometimes people are no longer in relationships but they look back at their relationships and see um, that they really miss 
a, a, you know something in their relationship and this is what is basically happening for you a wonderful energy um, is coming out the energy of the world this is good so you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles and the energy of the world for your week reading and this is a very very positive energy um, because we can see this new offer that is coming in and it's going to open up a lot of potentials for you Gemini so it's going to be extremely extremely wonderful as we move forward we are using the energy of the activation of um, your um, light energies the sacred geometry activation so let's see what did the Gemini's receive oh isn't this beautiful you guys receive conception conception um this is a good card also if you're trying to get pregnant it's a good card to really um you know focus on um, the energies because the writing is so small the frequency of the conceptions invite us to bring our consciousness to our, our um, origin place the place where everything um, in creation begin it help us to remember the infinity potential and possibilities of this place and when we can manifest through our own focus awareness and intention isn't this wonderful yes it is so um, just hold focus at least for um, you know an, a minute um, to um, let you um, activate the energy of conceptions this is good okay and from me to you guys for Valentine's Day from me to you guys for Valentine's Day for me to you guys for Valentine's Day you got I choose to learn through love I choose to learn through love I choose to learn through love isn't this wonderful yes it is this is the deck it's a new deck and it is the deck from um, the universe has your back and it is saying to you guys it's a week of Valentine's I choose to learn true love and this is going to be wonderful so ladies and gentlemen I'm wishing you a wonderful wonderful Valentine's Day until next week not to worry about what is going on okay so it's gonna be a lot of um, changes that is coming in but it's just a week of Valentine's but um, new love is coming up for you okay so let's move forward and see what is happening we have romance number 39 we have the energy of romance and this is good it is Valentine's Day I just picked this card <laughs> so for you Aquarians for you Aquarians romantic love the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and ref um, reflection of a conscious lover okay so what this is saying is that and it's actually also um, the cover on the book this conscious love romantic love and conscious love so this is um, extremely positive this is um, extremely good um, this is bringing in um, love and this love that is coming in as powerful love so the energy of the Sun is here with the energy of the ace of cups and this is always saying uh, this is an, an, an love of a lifetime this is um really really positive love okay so you have the energy of the romantic love this is a powerful and a wonderful um love that is coming in i actually love to use the activation because this is an activation if you have been wondering when your twin flame or soulmate is coming in this is a card to just focus on and visualize and you will receive um the energies of uh, your new love coming in so this is going to be good okay so let's move forward and let's look and see what is here um, I'm using um, and this is a gift for you guys um, this is my Valentine's gift for you guys and this is a wonderful message because it's from the universe has your back and this is um, a new deck that I got for Valentine's Day and I'm sharing it with you guys okay so the message is 
my capacity to tune in to the energies of love gives me the words I need when I am ready to speak up the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am a loss okay so isn't this a wonderful beautiful energy yes it is so this is my gift to you guys um, not to worry about what is going on but understand that it's going to be positive and you need to understand that life has a way of uh, making wonderful um, things happen for you when you believe in the miracle of love and the miracle of the universe so I want to say to each and every person um, enjoy your Valentine's week namaste until next week